In this video, I'm going to show you how you can trigger some additional narration with a button and then automatically go to the next slide. I'm Paul Wilson and I make videos about e-learning, specifically the authoring tool Adobe Captivate. If you like what I'm doing here today, by all means like this video, subscribe to my channel, and definitely share it with all of your e-learning buddies. So I got a message from a viewer of my YouTube channel and the thing that they were struggling to achieve is a slide where a button plays a piece of audio narration or maybe it's music i don't know they weren't specific but what they were struggling with was the next slide automatically appearing after the audio has been played as the audio is activated via the button it doesn't appear on the timeline so there's no way to place a bookmark etc i spent hours trying to find a solution aha but maybe there's a way you can have the audio on the timeline. Let's take a look. Okay, so here I have sort of an introductory slide where we have the first sentence or so of the Gettysburg Address with Abraham Lincoln as the source of the quotation here. And I've added a button, listen to the speech. So I've set up some audio narration here using the built-in AI voices. And if we take a look at the closed captions, you'll see what I've done here. So I have pressed the button to hear the first sentence or so of the Gettysburg Address. And then it's uh, once the audio finishes playing, the course will jump to the next slide where you can read it. And um, although you don't see it in the captions here, I added a bunch of dot, 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 space, dot, 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 space, which created, I think, almost a second worth of blank audio. So it just creates a built-in pause. And the, uh, the AI speech recognizes what you're trying to do and creates that pause. So once it's finished reading the introductory text, what we want to do actually is pause the slide and wait for the learner to press the button. So let's play a little bit of this right now. Press the button to hear the first sentence or so of the Gettysburg Address. Once the audio finishes playing, the course will jump to the next slide, where you can read it. Okay, so it's actually playing a little out of sync there, but that's okay. This is the point where what we want to do is add a bookmark, and we will call this pause. Now, when we reach that bookmark, we are simply going to go to the More section and pause the timeline. Okay, click Done. Now, while we're paused, of course, the person could go get a coffee or take a biology break, whatever it is that they need to do. And when they want to hear the first couple of sentences uh, spoken by a pretty good impersonator of Abraham Lincoln, who happens to be in the AI Voices, uh, I'll let you listen here in a moment. But with this button selected, I want to set an action to resume the timeline. And the advantage of doing it this way is that number one, where, you know, it's, a, it's one audio clip that's just playing through and we get the advantage of the closed captions as well. So you'll still see closed captions for this audio clip there. Now what we want to do is go to the very end of our slide or very near the end of our slide where the audio finishes up and we will click on our ruler on the timeline, click on the plus diamond icon to add go to next. And the action for that will be go to the next slide. It's so simple, you almost wouldn't think of it because of that reason there. And then on the next slide, I have the full narr narrative or the full uh, uh, speech. It's not a long speech, but it's still a very impressive speech. So let's test this out and make sure that it works. So we'll return to this slide here. Just to quickly recap, we have our first pause point. We have an action to resume the timeline triggered by the button. And then the final bookmark will take us to the next slide. So let's go ahead and preview this, see how it works. 
Press the button to hear the first sentence or so of the Gettysburg Address. Once the audio finishes playing, the course will jump to the next slide, where you can read it. Okay, so it's paused the slide. I can tell because the play bar, the play pause button is currently a play. That means it, it's in pause mode here. Let's go ahead and press the button. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth upon this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. And there it goes to the next slide automatically. I didn't press anything, I promise. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.